am Mrs. Hampton. I teach fourth grade at Indian River Elementary down in Edgewater, Florida. Kaylee Ellis in my classroom knows how important writing is. She knows that it's a way for us to communicate ideas and to share with others. On her own, independently, she decided to write President Barack Obama. So she wrote a letter in all earnest and her grandmother, her nana, saw to it that it got mailed to the proper place and she was very surprised to get a wonderful reply back. I was just watching TV with my papa and then I asked my papa if I could write to the president and he said sure, but I don't think he'll write back. And a couple weeks later he wrote back. She was very excited to get a picture of the president. She got a copy of the White House floor plan. She was able to share with the class utilizing our overhead projection system and talked about the various rooms and how he told her to do well in school, to always strive to set the highest goals, and how important education was to everyone from the president on down. I encourage you to set your sights high, aim for excellence in all that you do, and try each day to improve the lives of others in your community. Thank you again for your message. I wish you all the best. Sincerely, Barack Obama. She's a very self-confident young lady. She's in Girl Scouts. She's actively involved in the community and doing community service with the Girl Scouts. And I think it shows a great deal about her citizenship. She's a wonderful student. This will be something that sticks in her mind for a long time, that she actually got a response from the President of the United States. Today, our school is voting for upcoming president, United States Senator, United States Representative, and they won mill referendum in Volusia County. We've been doing this since the Clinton-Dole election. Well, I'd say we've been pretty darn accurate so far. Almost all of the uh, presidential elections, friendship has reflected how the nation went. We are trying to make it as authentic an experience as possible for our first through fifth grade students so that they'll remember the experience and hopefully grow up to be really good voters. They've had a sample ballot and they've had to register to vote before they're, they've been able to come down and vote. So we hope they'll remember it and have a wonderful civics lesson.